hi guys today i will explain you the concept of adrs and gdrs to know this first we have to know the meaning of what is depository receipt so a depository receipt is a negotiable certificate dominated in us dollars and issued by a non us company the main thing is that it is issued by a non us company if these certificates can be issued in america only then these are known as american depository receipts while if these are traded in other countries also it becomes global depository receipts so the there are four main factors first is a indian company it is obvious second is domestic custodian bank number third is foreign depository bank and fourth is foreign investor so the indian company wants to raise funds in foreign investors so it will issue gdrs let us example indian company wants to issue funds in america so that it will issue adrs so indian company will issue shares to domes custodian bank and domestic custodian bank has a collaboration with foreign depository bank and on behalf of shares held by domestic custodian bank foreign depository bank will issue depository receipts in foreign country uh, we have assumed america so in america to foreign investors and they will reimburse the money for, uh, money raised by foreign investors to domestic student bank and it will further reimburse this to indian company this is the procedure of it gdrs and adrs if uh, depository receipts are issued in america then it it is known as uh, adrs otherwise uh, in uh, in any other european country if it is issued then it is known as gdrs this is the procedure thank you guys for uh, watching the video stay tuned for more updates please do not forget to subscribe and like the video thank you